Hello children, I am Miss Lola. Welcome to today's class where I will take you on an adventure in the world of mathematics. This is going to be so much fun. I hope you are ready. In our last lesson, we learned about area and the different ways to find the area of different shapes. Do you remember what area is? Let me remind you. Area is a measure of the space inside a shape. Can I tell you more about area? We find the area of objects to know how big it is. Oh yes. By finding the area of our room, we can tell how big it is. We can also find the area of the table to know how wide the surface of the table is. We can also know the size of our blackboard by finding its area. Just like finding the length of objects, finding the area of objects is important in helping us make decisions in our everyday lives. Different shapes like a square, a rectangle, a circle and a triangle have different ways through which we can find their area. Today, we will learn how to find the area of a triangle. What is a triangle? Can you recognize a triangle when you see one? A triangle is a common shape we see all the time. Just like the name says, tri means three. Therefore, a triangle is a shape with three sides. If you remember, I told you in the last lesson that a square and a rectangle have four sides. Unlike a blackboard which has four sides and is a rectangle, or the surface of our chair is square shaped and has four sides, a triangle has only three sides. That was simple, wasn't it? A triangle is a common shape we see everywhere. We see them on the rooftops of our houses and even in road signs. Have you heard about the famous groundnut pyramid in Kano? Here is a fun fact. The groundnut pyramid also has the shape of a triangle. Here is what the groundnut pyramid of Kano looks like. Did you know a ladder leaning on a wall also forms the shape of a triangle? I bet you did not imagine all that. <laughs> All these objects have the shape of a triangle, so when you think of a triangle, you should imagine a shape with only three sides. Now, let us talk about the area of a triangle. The area of a triangle is a measure of how much space there is inside a triangle. But why do we need to find the area of the triangle? To know how big a triangle is, we measure its area. Remember, we measure the area of shapes with standard units of measurement called square centimeter or square meter. The area of a triangle can be calculated if you know the length of its base and its height. The height of a triangle is the distance from the base to the tip of the triangle. This was fun, wasn't it? I bet it was. Now, let us go back to the beginning with a few simple points. Number one, a triangle has only three sides. Number two, we measure the area of a triangle to know how big the triangle is. Number three, Triangles are found on the roof of houses, on roadsides, and even the famous groundnut pyramid is shaped like a triangle. I hope you had as much fun today as I did. Till next time. Bye.